Hey, what is good on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to create this amazing composition in Photoshop. First step, drag the model inside Photoshop. Press and hold Shift plus Alt to scale it and double click. Now for the font, I used Ronda Semi Bold and of course I customized it in Adobe Illustrator so now it looks something like this. Only for a little bit more stylization but you can use any kind of font fonts you want in Photoshop. So I'm gonna press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. I'm gonna work with Smart Object at the point, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it. I'm gonna scale it until her head ends there and I'm gonna go right here and then double click. And I can of course rename it number two. I'm gonna rename this also as model and background. Now I'm gonna uncheck the number two. I'm gonna select the model. I'm gonna select long click and select object selection tool. And with this, I'm gonna select the model like this. It is going to select the model. I'm gonna go with select and mask. And I'm gonna select refine edge brush tool. Uh, because I need to refine the hair because uh, right now it looks really raw. It's so I'm gonna go on it and this is going to basically bring back some of the hairlines. Something like this. I'm gonna click OK. And I'm going to mask it. So go to the mask and click on it. I'm gonna activate the letter 2 and I'm gonna double click and add a gradient overlay and as you can see this is the colors you can go to the gradient click on the gradient and you can choose all sorts of gradients you like i think i went with some purple yeah this is the purple this is what the one which i went but you got all kinds of beautiful colors i gotta go with this one click ok click ok now we're gonna mask this also click on it and click on the mask here now press and hold control and go to the model's mask. This is the model's mask. And click on it. And now it's selected the model. So we're at the number two layer and the number two's mask, okay? Select the brush, make sure that you're on the black. And I'm gonna remove this area. And I'm also gonna remove this zone right here. And increase the hardness. There you go. I can press Ctrl D so it deselects and as you can see this white area I'm gonna create a new layer above the background layer so go and click on this to create a new layer I go rename it as black because we're gonna paint it with black color and I'm gonna paint it like this see that so now that white zone it just disappeared and now the whole composition melts together okay um, I'm also thinking to remove this area of the letter two. Uh, I'm just gonna try it out. I'm gonna uncheck the number two. So right now you can see this black thing that we created. But anyways, I'm gonna go and select the quick selection tool. Click on the model here. I'm gonna scale up a little bit the brush and I'm gonna select some of the parts of the hair to be more precise, this area of the hair. Now, as you can see, this part, I don't want it. So I'm gonna go with the minus, click on the minus, and deselect these areas. I'm gonna go with the select and mask. I'm gonna smoothen out a little bit with this. It's kind of bad. Uh, I'm gonna test it out, click OK. I'm gonna activate number two, go to the number two's mask, click on it, select the brush, click on the brush. Here it is. Make sure it's, it's on black. And let's delete those areas. There you go. Press Ctrl D so it deselects. I gotta go, go back to the black layer and I'm gonna repaint these. I also can add some uh, shadows. So I'm gonna go to the models layer. We're gonna need to rasterize it. Right click, rasterize layer. Anyway, if you apply what we need to apply those shadows, it's going to ask to rasterize it anyway. So we're going to we're going to work with the burn tool. Click on the burn tool. Usually the dodge is on the top. Select the burn, you know, add some shadows on it. So this was the highlight. I'm going to go with mid tone and, you know, paint in the zones. I'm going to select the shadows. I think that's going to work even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the shadows works great. It's gonna make it darker, like how I want it. 
And mainly this is it. Thanks for watching and if you are new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.